isn't good enough. I would like to see a paper come forward on the role of the council in this setting. And I think I'm not asking for tomorrow, but certainly uh, the next meeting at least. Now that we've had this, I want a paper demonstrating what the role of the council will be, at what stage, how the information will be passed to them, and uh, what help will be given to them if they need it. I can tell you in my own work,
shaping places and what to do, how uh, we mean to shape places. I think it answers the question of what we need Mary and Chris Blakey. And the, the ability, when you're selling a major asset, I believe the people in that community should benefit from that. Uh, and as you know, I wasn't going to use the word issue, but it's going to go outside. Yeah. As in my ward, I've got uh, two schools of closed and up for sale. So one's now going to get demolished and being uh, ready to be sold. We've also had more houses built on building yard. Uh, we'd like benefits from that, but money that will be spent on our own. Uh, but it's the major issues outside of that. We've had the one Chris said in there earlier, you know, 500 pounds. Of, we are also going to have in the region of about 500 pounds of, into my ward.
to um, reiterate a number of uh, the points from the students in relation to uh, uh, various uh, things going on. I mean, that does seem to be over the years there's been a major disconnect really between um, your asset management and the councils. And I mean, I, I think we've all said this just previously, uh, many of us. Uh, there's been and the amount of occasions I've been, uh, uh, various developments have been reported to me. Have not been, you know, informed about uh, major, you know, disruptions. Go uh, so major disruption work going on at Bevington Civic Centre uh, at this moment of time. The lack of maintenance to the back to the front of, uh, uh, you know, the Civic Centre is absolutely awful. Um, also, it seems to be a major disconnect between the halls managers and asset managers as well, which has been a real. I mean, the, the stories I could, I could tell you about the. The, I mean, no, no, the amount of times when what the halls managers don't know what asset management is doing, and asset management doesn't know what the halls managers do. The halls managers suddenly are going off doing all sorts of major projects, and asset management know nothing about it. And the issue of, um, of the, the, the monstrosity in front of um, Penance House, uh, that the, the refuse area, that refuse area was put in because evidently a cleaner wanted somewhere to put a rubbish. So if someone took it upon themselves to, to actually, and the cost, by the way, I still haven't got an idea of how much it cost to actually uh, wreck that, this, this absolute monstrosity. So there it was, uh, erected, right at the side of the entrance to Penn's House car park. It's a constant. It's right in the centre of the conservation area. No one thought about the conservation area at all. They just went ahead and did it. And you know, so this is where you know we really do need to um, uh, you know in, keep people informed about what's going on. And yet, there, also, as you say, there just seems to be a lack of uh, um, um, knowledge of the. Hey, hold on here. We're working in the middle of a conservation area. Shouldn't we think about this? And no, no one, no one, you know, takes that on board. Um, but you know, I mean, the, I mean, the great thing about I, I've really got to say, you know, uh, I'll, I'll now go positive and say, I mean, the work that's been done in Lower Bevington Village on the buildings there has been a real um, uh, um, partnership between the council. I mean, asset ma management have come on board with the local community groups, and there's been. Um, uh, a, a foundation of trust really between the two organisations. You know, first of all, you know, sort of uh, before when you know monies have, have, have been put in, um, the first of all the the the, uh, the officers rightly said, well look, you know, let's see what you can do here. Gone over to the community group, say, well look, there's a project there. Can you do this? And then the community group then have come along and you know have succeeded on half a dozen projects. So then. The council officers rightly have come in and said, "Well, we've got you know we've we're, we're, we've got confidence in what you're doing. We're going to work with you. We're going to put money in." And this has you know just gone on now over a period of three years, and it, it's been a, a absolutely uh, major transformation uh, involving the officers and the um, the uh, community groups in Bevington. So as I said, I don't want to give you. I think that it, there's many areas where we're. 